is more than just a hotel. It's a Las Vegas institution. In the 35 years since it first came up along the Strip, it cemented its name in the history books and laid down a template for other hotels to follow. And I am not exaggerating when I say this. The Mirage was by every means an iconic hotel. When it opened in 1989, it was the largest hotel in the world. Its staggering 29-story tower hosting over 3,000 rooms. The Mirage is also the most expensive hotel ever built with a price tag of approximately $630 million. In the following decade, more firsts followed. The Mirage became the first hotel to introduce a sidewalk attraction when it created its iconic artificial volcano. Soon after, it earned a reputation as Sin City's first mega resort and went on to inspire other luxury offerings like the Bellagio, Mandalay Bay, and the Venetian. It was a casino that was famously looted in Ocean's Eleven, and one that featured in Grand Theft Auto's San Andreas, where it was called The Visage. It's a hotel so prestigious and renowned that during its peak, it drew thousands of tourists to Vegas every year. So it came as a surprise when one day in 2024, Vegas woke up to the news that the Mirage's 35 year run was coming to an end. It was announced that the property would officially close for guests on the 14th of July and be partially demolished a few weeks later to make way for a new property. So what's coming up in its place? And more importantly, will the new property hold a candle to Mirage's iconic legacy? Here's what we know so far. Before we get into the details about the new property, let's travel back in time to understand what the Mirage once did with the same space and why it was considered such a groundbreaking hotel. The Mirage Hotel and Casino was conceptualized and developed by Steve Wynn a man who started out with a mission to revolutionize entertainment in Sin City. But as we now know, his creation ended up being so much more than just a place to gamble. The massive property featured its own indoor, lush tropical rainforest atrium, tucked away under a staggering nine-story dome. It had a 20,000-gallon fish tank behind the reception, which housed over 400 exotic species of fish, and then even found space to build an entire dolphin habitat. The hotel's state-of-the-art theater is best known today for hosting the Beatles-themed Cirque du Soleil show Love since 2006. But over the years, it's also been graced by music legends like Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton. In its early days, the hotel also hosted big-ticket boxing events. In fact, the year it was introduced, it was the venue for the third fight between Sugar Ray Leonard and Roberto Duran, an event attended by 16,000 spectators. For several years, the hotel's 1,500-seat theater also featured the magician duo Siegfried and Roy along with their mini army of white tigers. By the time the show was called off, after Roy Horn was brutally attacked by one of the tigers from his act, the duo had completed nearly 6,000 performances at the venue. The Mirage was a pioneer in every sense. Its fine dining options significantly contributed to putting Vegas on the global culinary map, and its distinctive gold windows, which contained actual flecks of gold dust, were the perfect representation of the excesses of Sin City. The first signs of change for the Mirage came in 2022. That year, it was revealed that Hard Rock International had purchased the hotel from MGM Resorts International for a cool $1.08 billion. Two years later, the final card was dealt. It announced that the Mirage would be partially demolished to make way for a new, absurdly named Hard Rock Hotel and Casino and Guitar Hotel Las Vegas. But even though this buyout marked the end of an era, it was exciting news. Hard Rock is one of the world's most globally recognized brands, one that even the Mirage's most loyal guests would agree is capable of creating some spectacular properties. Fortunately, it didn't take too long after the announcement for Hard Rock officials to give us a glimpse of what to expect. The executive said they plan to add another 800 to 1,000 rooms to the hotel's pre-existing 3,044 rooms. Rooms. There have been talks of renovating the casino floor to include nearly 2,000 more slot machines, 
as well as adding nearly 3,000 seats to the theater. Of course, to accommodate all these additions, big changes would have to be made to the main structure. It was also revealed soon after that the iconic Y shape of the Mirage Hotel would be taken down and replaced with a bright guitar-shaped tower. The new rooms would occupy the space previously taken up by the Mirage's artificial volcano. According to released renderings, the guitar is expected to rise 660 feet above the ground and be very similar to the $1.5 billion hard rock that opened in 2019 in South Florida. While the designs haven't been confirmed yet, Hard Rock employees said the final structure would dramatically change every aspect of the resort and the Las Vegas skyline. From the moment they were revealed, there was no denying that Hard Rock's new plans are impressive, but that doesn't mean everyone is pleased. Soon after the hotel's owners changed hands, several locals and tourists gathered to protest the decision. A change.org petition was also created to save the Mirage's volcano. At the same time, several others raised their voices in favor of the move, arguing that reinvention was the only constant in a dynamic place like Vegas. Whichever side of the argument you stand on, it seems as though there's no turning back now. Weeks after the Mirage waved goodbye to its last guest, the renovation crew arrived on site. While the Mirage won't be completely demolished like the Tropicana was, these renovations are now in full swing. It's estimated that the entire construction will take place over the next three years and that the Hard Rock Hotel will be unveiled in 2027. To the credit of Hard Rock International, executives have taken great care to ensure that the former employees of the Mirage are well taken care of. The new management has revealed that it plans to find jobs for out-of-work employees at other companies and announce it will dole out about $80 million in severance pay. The renovations are also expected to create over 2,500 new construction jobs, considering they're building Vegas's most unique structure since the Sphere. As for the legacy of the Mirage, Hard Rock has partnered with Neon Museum to ensure future generations will always remember the hotel fondly. It has donated several artifacts from the casino to the museum, including a 17-foot tall sculpture of Siegfried and Roy created in 1993, the 30-foot tall hotel arch sign, and a 27-foot tall sign from the Volcano Lagoon. And so with that, Vegas has lost its second iconic property this year after the Tropicana. But in the process, will it gain something truly special, courtesy of Hard Rock? Only time will tell.